Hey guys, so I um, am back with a journal type book that I had told you guys that I was gonna, I was working on before. I made this for my husband and I. Um, he mentioned to me before that I should do something that um, reflected all of the adventures we'd been on. And so that's what I did. He did not know about it. It was a surprise to him. Um, I gave it to him this morning. We went out for coffee and breakfast for our anniversary. And I'm going to share it with you now. I redid the spine like three times because first it was too small. First I had a one inch spine. This book got way fatter than what I was planning on. It's ridiculous actually. <laughs> um, so then I thought, well, I'll do a two-inch spine. So I did a two-inch spine. Well, then I'll show it to you. That spine was, it was so huge that the inside of the book would not function properly. So I redid it. And now I have a one-and-a-half-inch spine. Anyway, um, I had a hard time figuring out what kind of closure to do. So I just ended up doing, putting the um, eyelets and tying some string. Um, this is um, embossing heat em um, embossing powder with a stance says I love you and a little flourish. So and it just unties. Now it's not finished. I mean it's it's kind of finished but not kind of finished. We're gonna um, add um, journaling and such together. So I put a pocket in the front with a couple of library cards. I like to put a pocket in the front of everything I do or in the back so that I can um, date everything and place it. Um, so we haven't written on these yet. We'll, we're going to write on them. Um, dates and stuff. So this was when we talked, uh, climbed the top of Tory's Peak in September 2008. And this was a Halloween costume 2007. This is a little pocket made out of vellum and a newspaper article. My husband was um, in a motorcycle accident. Another motorcycle rear-ended him and we made the front page of the newspaper in our town. So that's there. And then I just journaled um, some stuff on this little card. This background paper is um, from the United States Census from his family. When I did our family, his family tree. This was kind of um, like an, a first date, official first date, and some journaling about that. This was when we climbed the um, top of Mount Bierstadt in July of 2008. This is scratch paper. Looks like mountains. I thought it was kind of cool. Here's some um, pockets and some pictures that I made to look like Polaroids. They're not Polaroids. It's just a piece of white cardstock with the picture cut out and adhered. So this was the 4th of July 2011. And I didn't write that date on there. I need to. This was the Colorado Avalanche hockey game on in two or 2009, and this is the Colorado National Speedway and um, journaling on the back. This was when we went to Las Vegas in June of 2010, and this is a little chip from the uh, New York, New York. My husband is an amateur photographer, so these are some pictures that he took when we went to Taos, New Mexico in 2008. Here's the another census thing in the background, and some pictures that he took. Uh, this was a road trip we took for a company we worked for in 2006, and he was driving the rider truck. And that's me wrapped up and we went to, over to Mexico back when it was safe to do that. <laughs> and uh, I was wrapped up in a blanket like a burrito. 
Um, here's another. Uh, he often used me as a model in his photography and his photography groups and clubs he's in. Um, and so this was a picture he took of me. This was a motorcycle trip that we took uh, to South Dakota in 2008. Stamped um, background pages just with stamps. This was him driving our 1967 LTD and the local town parade in my parents' um, small town. And this was a large life-size birthday cake that I made for his birthday and then jumped out of it one year. And was that? Oh, I didn't put the date. Put the date. Um, New Year's Eve 2010, New Year's Eve 2009. This was when we went to Italy and we we're in front of the Leaning Tower of Pisa and this was um, in Venice. This is beautiful Hawaii. And we went there for a week in 2008. Uh, this is in Florida, holding an alligator, and we went to the Colorado Rockies game for his birthday. When was that? 2007. This was when we went to New York this year, 2012. Um, we went to the salt flat, stopped at the salt flats in 2000 on, uh, on the way out to the west coast. And this was 2008 at the uh, Colorado University football game. And this is my husband snowboarding and jumping. And that's me snowboarding in 2000. And this picture is 2008. This probably was too, but we snowboarded. Well, he, I snowboarded 2007 through 2009. He snowboarded a lot longer couple decades. Um, on our trip to the west coast we stopped at the Redwood Forest and saw all the trees. And drove through the tree. And this was camping pictures. We did a lot of camping in Colorado up in the mountains. We love to sit by the fire and snuggle up when it's really cold out. And these are our motorcycles, which we have now since sold, since we're going to live on a sailboat. And journaling on the back. And this is a background picture of me walking on the beach that he took of me. And this is a picture of him um, driving our dinghy. This was the Colorado, Erie, Colorado Balloon Fest in 2007. And this is us painting our house, getting ready to sell it so we could move to Florida to live on a sailboat to sail around the world. And he surprised me with the trip to Las Vegas and here we are sharing a very large rum and juice drink. And uh, Toby Keith was um, one of my favorites. And here's a picture of his, at his bar and grill and my husband also with Toby. Vegas. That was our first trip to Vegas together. Uh, this is when we went to Germany. This was coffee in Germany in 2007. And this was um, standing, this is King, Mad King Ludwig uh, Castle in the background. This is the castle that uh, Sleeping Beauty is made from. And this was Amsterdam. We went through having coffee in Amsterdam and a big party for the annual Gay Pride Festival. We didn't, that's not why we went there. We didn't know they were having the Gay Pride Festival until we got there and ended up partying. Uh, this was snowshoeing in Colorado. And this was a costume for Halloween one year. My husband was a um, convict and he had fake tattoo, those sleeves you can buy, the, uh, fake tattoo sleeve. And 
I was a cop, sexy cop. Okay, this is a picture when we went to Vietnam in 2009. My husband had fried swamp eel for his dinner. And when they set the plate down, the thing was staring at me. So I told him he had to turn his plate around so that his dinner would quit staring at me. Anyways, we're going to journal some of that here. This background page is the uh, fish market in Vietnam, one of them. Um, we've always liked campfires, so here's just a little, um, a little page to remember some of the campfires that we've, we've had in, in both of our uh, backyards in Colorado and our backyard here in Florida and all of our um, camping. And it's a picture of me walking on the beach with some cocktails. This was our little boat, which my husband's going to fill in what kind it was and all that stuff. But our little sailboat in um, Colorado, we used to sail. And these are our guns that we used to go shooting with. <clears throat> this was a trip to Moab, Utah in 2007. Rocky Mountain National Park in 07, and my husband was talking to this little chipmunk. Isn't that cute? Again, these are ones that I made them look like Polaroid pictures. Uh, camping in 2011, and this was our trip to Paris, uh, France. So um, this was actually, this picture is in Paris, and these pictures was a Gignag. France. Um, we found a little farmer's market and then my husband was so happy he got coffee and that was in 07 and I love this little my husband loves this little picture that we took an advertisement at the restaurant super ass guy rose seven euro <laughs> I thought that was funny I knew you'd love to have that in this album <clears throat> and this is just um, our song for the, uh, by Heidi Newfield called Johnny and June and this was when we got married one year ago, November 5th, 2011. And this was when we climbed Gray's Peak in 08. When I, before I painted our living room wall, I said, Jimmy, I love you. And then um, when we first started dating, he gave me this little framed picture he made um, that says, you're the one. And this was our trip to Yellowstone National Park in 09 and the Grand Teton National Park. And this is more of our trip to Vietnam. This was a little side um, vendor cooking us lunch. And um, my husband at the bus station waiting for the bus. And then we are on the van. <clears throat> And we went up into the into the mountains and um, rode on this ox cart that came by. And there's some journaling about that. Almost finished. And this is when we went to the hot springs in Colorado one year for my husband's birthday. And he took his clothes off and sat by the fire because he's crazy like that. And then this is just a little leaf that I did some journaling on. And this is when we went snorkeling down in Key Largo, Florida. And these are some underwater pictures we took. We have an underwater camera case. We thought they were kind of cool. This is the very first purchase we made for our boat in 2011. And this is a couple of pictures of us working on the boat this past summer getting things ready and the last page is again our snorkeling trip in Key Largo this is a picture of my husband underwater and snorkeling and a picture of me underwater snorkeling so um, that's it super fat book super fat took me I worked about an hour a day for a couple of months about six weeks um, just took a long time to go through all the pictures and figure out what I wanted to put in here. I wanted to get a little bit of everything. 
and uh, I got more than I really wanted because it came out so big and like I said we still have a lot of journaling to do in here which we'll do that together a little at a time so it's not so overwhelming. Anyhow that's it. Um, I hope you guys